Hey guys, this is John with 757 Woodworks, and today I'm back with another video about the iCare K1. So, up until now, I've used an Ortor Laser Master Pro, and one of the features I loved about it was having a grid on the spoil board itself. And I'm going to go ahead and fix that today with the iCare. But there was one particular thing that I really wanted to solve before I put the grid on here, and that's going to be using these 3D printed parts. So, let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to go ahead and use these. So the biggest problem I have with using a grid with the iCare right now is this machine can easily move. There's not really a good way to lock it down to the spoil board, which is absolutely crucial because you need to be able to position whatever you're about to burn on the grid and it needs to be precise. So what I did is I designed these 3D printed parts. Let me try to get this to focus on here. So this guy has two studs that are go right underneath of the bed itself, or the machine itself, and then two uh, screw holes that will screw down to the spoil board. So the first thing you'll need to do if you wanted to use these, and these will be free on Thingiverse, by the way, is on the bottom of the machine itself, You've got these rubber pads that are on the feet. You'll need to remove these. I found that the holes on these didn't align to the holes that are on the bottom of here, and they'll need to, to be able to use these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these removed now, and we'll do the next step. Alright, so I've gotten all four of those removed off the feet. The next step is to cut my spoil board down to size so that I can work on attaching it to the IKEA base. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved over to my table saw and the next step I'm going to do is cut this two foot by four foot sheet of particle board. I picked this up at Home Depot for about nine dollars. It's quite a bit cheaper than MDF. I think it's going to work pretty much exactly the same though. I'm going to cut this down to 24 inches, so I'm just going to keep the actual depth here. The width I'm going to drop down to 32 inches roughly. I think that'll cover everything I need on the IQ here. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut it down. Okay, so I've got my two foot by 32 inch spoil board here. So I'm gonna go ahead and back over to the laser and do the next step. Before I attach the iCare to the spoil board, I wanted to show you up close the feet on the iCare. So the 3D printed part that I designed basically just snaps right into these holes, just like that. And then this is gonna be attached to the spoil board. It's gonna make the actual machine itself removable and then you can put it right back in the exact same spot as well. All right, so I've got the iKear onto the spool board. Now, there's not really an easy way to attach these. So my plan is to put them under, put a bunch of CA glue underneath, harden it down, pull it up, and then screw it down. And I'm hoping everything stays exactly where it needs to be. So cross your fingers for me.
Okay, so I've got all four 3D printed parts underneath of each of the feet. I'm now going to very slightly lift up each side, put a generous amount of CA glue. This is Starbond thick underneath each one. Do my best to spray some of the accelerator under it and keep it down for 20, 30 minutes. Make sure it gets a really good bond. So do your best to make sure that you align everything the way you want. It's not super important since the laser is going to align to your pattern how you want it. But if you are OCD, you're going to want to do the best job possible with your alignment. One final look, and I'm going to go ahead and spray some of the accelerator to try to cure this a little faster. The front one where the electronics is, do a very small dab, if any at all. So I've gotten the feet adhered down with the super glue. I'm going to leave it for about 30 minutes at this point. Very, very carefully lift the machine up and then put the screws down through the swivel board and then set it back down. Hopefully everything is aligned. So through the magic of motion pictures, I'll be right back. And with that, I'm back. So it's been about 30 minutes roughly. Um, it looks like the feet are pretty well adhered down. So the 3D printed part is very snug. So I'm going to have to lift up all four corners very carefully at the same time. And then as long as none of them move, I should be able to screw them down and go from there. So again, wish me luck. Okay, so that looks like it worked perfectly. Did not think this through very well. Did not have a great place to put that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the screws in and put it back on. Should be good. I'm going to be using these number six three quarter inch screws. So, it should work pretty well. Okay, uh, now that I have all the screws adhered down, I did notice a little bit of glue squeeze out where I wasn't able to get underneath. So I am going to spray a little bit more activator now that I have easier access to the feet. I'll give that a minute to dry off. And then once that's done, we'll go ahead and put it back on, make sure everything lines up. Okay, that is perfect. It literally fell right into place, has no wiggle room on these feet. 
So from here, we're going to go ahead and hop into Lightburn and home the machine and burn my grid. Okay, so I'm in Lightburn and I've got my grid loaded up. I'm going to find a place to upload this. I'm not sure where yet. Um, probably Facebook. Uh, they, we have an iCare official group over on Facebook that I'm a part of, so I'll upload it there. With that being said, I've got all of my values loaded in. I've got numbers on the side and the bottom that allow me to quickly orient it how I want. And then I did delete these squares here to put my logo. I'll include both of those um, on the iCare website, one with the grid lines and one with the space for the logo. So with that, I've gone ahead and homed my machine already, and I'm going to let it burn. So the burn is done. And honestly, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Real benefits to this. Uh, I've got perfect placement. So if I want to burn at 200 by 200, I can put it right there and it's going to be perfect. Now, some of you may look at the picture and realize that I didn't use the full burn area that the iCare has. So I actually did a 400 by 340 um, grid. The reason why I did that is because of the laser. So this on the Ultra is offset by 52 millimeters. If I go the full 400, it's going to crash into this wall. Now, if you don't use the laser, you can do a 400 by 400 or 410 by 410, and it's going to work perfectly fine. But the laser is just going to help me align everything perfectly every time, in addition to that grid. The other nice thing about this is if I need to lift the machine off of this and put it onto something bigger, say a dining room table, for example, I can pick this up, put it on that, burn my logo, put it right back onto the spool board here and use my grid like it never even changed. Other big thing I can do with this, I haven't designed them yet, but the way that I design these feet um, they would be able to accept risers so you put little risers on them and stack them like legos basically so i will come out with those eventually or someone else can design them um, i can give whatever specs they need for that but yeah uh, this video is done 